One thing that has been missing from Cypress traditionally is multi-tab support. Now I want to be clear that this is not something that you always need for a multi-tab application. This is because you can do workarounds like removing target blank from links, or you can mock out the way that the different tabs might be communicating. For example, mock out the common backend between the tabs. That said, just testing a multi-tab application the way it exists can be simpler and fortunately multi-tab support is coming to Cypress, so let's take a look. In order to use the multi-tab support, you will need to use the Cypress Puppeteer plugin, which you can install from NPM, and this is provided by the Cypress team. Next, within your TS config, you would need to add the TypeScript support for the side.puppeteer function, which you can do using compiler option types and using the type definitions provided by this plugin. This is all pretty straightforward, but the final step is going to be a bit more complicated because this will involve using the Puppeteer API. Since Puppeteer only works in Node.js, we need to handle the Puppeteer API from a Node.js context. We do that within cypress.config.ts, create a custom message handler, for example, here example message, and when invoked, this will get passed a browser instance, which is going to be a Puppeteer instance, allowing us complete control over any of the tabs and the browser processes that might be running within our test. To invoke the example message handler, we will use the side.puppeteer method which is provided by the SciPuppeteer plugin that we installed in step one. Now that we have a general understanding of how it works, let's take a look at a more functional code example to see it in action. Let's take a look at an example that actually comes with the Cypress Puppeteer plugin. Fundamentally, we are going to open a page, page1.html, and within that, within an input, we are going to type some message and then click a button. Now this button is going to trigger a new tab and pass the input content into that tab. And now we want to verify that the new tab opened with the content that we provided in the input. For this, we have a custom message for our Puppeteer backend, switch to tab and get content. And that should return the content from the new tab that just opened. Before we look at the code of this message handler, let's run this example and see it in practice. Now I'm going to run this example and it's going to execute extremely fast, but we will walk through what actually happens as the test is running. The test has passed, so let's replicate the behavior manually to see what has actually happened. Clicking open a new tab, opens a new tab, which we can run ourselves. And you can see that this tab has the text that we want to read. And in fact, this text from a different tab is read by the Puppeteer plugin and returned to our main test body where we can expect that it matches what we want. As we mentioned, these handlers are going to be configured within cypress.config and the complexity of this function body lies in the browser API provided by Puppeteer. We are essentially searching for a tab that has page 2.html and then within that tab, we wait for a selector for P and then eventually return its text content. And this value is returned from the SciPuppeteer method where we can assert its value to be you said hello from page one. More than anything else, this is a great example of how much power lies within the Cypress plugin ecosystem. As always, thank you for joining me and I will see you in the next one.